history of the Orient Express, our first visit to Shelterm Traction, and our upcoming event at Wonder Steam Trains. Welcome to our first episode of 2022. Sorry it took so long to get here. Today we're coming to you from Wonder Steam in Pretoria. We're going to talk about the history of the Orient Express. We're also going to show you our first event at Traction Shelterm and our upcoming event at Wonder Steam. Let's Stay tuned. This. Today I'd like to talk briefly about Tra de Luxe Militaire, now thought of as the first Orient Express after World War I. This is the eastbound Tra de Luxe Militaire at Wettingen, west of Zurich, on the bridge over Limut River. This train was the very first Orient Express to run after World War I. The first run was in February 1919, and the train ran only until 1920. Today we'll only scratch the surface of the history of this train, but it can be said that this train was even better suited for a good story than the Orient Express we all know and love. Although this train never carried the name Orient Express, it was part of the Orient Express system and equipped, operated and serviced much like the Orient Express itself. The train ran from Paris, Gare du Lest, via Schumann, Basel, Zurich, Zagens, Bourgs, Feldkirch, the Altberg Pass Line, Innsbruck, Salzburg, Vienna and on to Warsaw. It was only made available for use by the upper military ranks, politicians and diplomats. The question remains if this was also the case during the run through Switzerland. This picture is possibly the only picture that shows this train in Switzerland. In this picture, the Tra de Luxe Militaire is powered by the 460 Class A35 number 737 built as a De Glenn four-cylinder compound, non-superheated loco, in 1906 at Schweizerische Lokomotive und Maschinenfabrik, or SLM, in Winterthur. Later, more than half of the 700 class A35 were rebuilt with superheaters. The engine powered that train until Zurich, where the train had to change direction, because of the layout of the main station there. Most likely another A35 engine powered the train until Zagens, where the train again had to change the direction. Because the loop track there which allowed a direct run was not built until the mid-1980s. After only a relatively short run to Buchs, the train had to change direction yet again where the Austrians took over the train. When the armistice of World War I was signed, Poland used the opportunity to form as a country again in November 1918. Poland did not exist on any map since the 1770s. So in the power vacuum after World War I, this was the chance for Poland to create facts before everything got cemented in the peace treaty of Versailles in 1919-1920. Now the World War was over, but fighting in Eastern Europe started again. The years 1919 to 1921 were dirty, bloody years in Eastern Europe. Almost everyone fought against everyone and the Western Allies, the British and French were involved too, and even Germany was involved. Most famous was the Iron Division. In the case of Poland, it was that Poland knew that the borders towards Germany would be decided during the peace treaty at Versailles, and that Poland would gain territory there. But the location of the borders in the east were questioned. Poland wanted to at least reach the borders of 1772, a few hundred kilometers to the east. So Poland pushed with its newly created army eastward, while the Red Army of the Soviets started to push west, despite still fighting against the White Army. The Soviets had realized that there was a power vacuum in Eastern Europe, which maybe allowed them to push as far west as possible. Hostilities between the Polish and the Red Army already started in 1918, and this finally led to the Polish-Soviet War. The goal of the British and the French was to establish and enforce those new countries in the east to build a buffer between Germany and the Soviet Union, Russia. So the British and French finally got involved in Poland. Polish military trained in the UK and France, while they also trained the Polish in Poland. The British sent a British military mission to Poland, first led by General Louis Boerta and later by General Adrian Carton de Wiert. The French mission to Poland was somewhat larger than the British, with about 400 officers. It was led by General Paul Prosper Henrys. 
Among the French officers was the future president of France, Charles de Gaulle. Later, during the Polish-Soviet War, when the fighting had reached Warsaw, Lloyd George launched the improvised inter rallied mission to Poland on the 21st of July 1920. It's against this backdrop that the Tra de Luxia Militaire was introduced as the first Orient Express after World War I, giving the British, French and Polish military, politicians and diplomats and who knows who else rode on that train a good connection between Paris and Warsaw in 1919 and 1920. In 1920, the train was given free access for civilians and was rerouted via Stuttgart and Munich instead of Switzerland. On the 3rd of February 2022, we hosted our first event at Traction Shaltem's workshops in Roslyn, Pretoria. Traction Shaltem is a locomotive hire and repair company that undertakes complete operating and maintenance contracts. Participants were treated to a full tour of the industrial and manufacturing hub, which was built in 2019 at over 50,000 square meters, with 11,000 of those under roof. Traction are able to fully refurbish 30 locomotives a year. Some of the highlights from our trip included viewing former Afro 4010 being refurbished, as well as two other locomotives, including ex-South African Railways Class 80 electric unit. Part of their upcoming projects included moving ex-South African Railways GE Class 33s into the workshop for refurbishment and commissioning, as well as the development of a spray shop on the premises. As a pleasant surprise, Traction Shaltam gifted us free calendars and caps. We thank Traction Shaltam for their kind hospitality. On the 2nd of April, we will have the beautifully restored Class 15 CA number 2850 in steam at Wonder Steam Trains in Pretoria. This mainline loco will be performing run pass with a small mixed freight consist, as well as stage scenes with the crew in the setting sun and beneath the African night sky. We welcome all photographers of all levels, whether professional or hobbyists. We are proud to say that the spaces are filling up, so why not book your spot with us? Thanks for watching. Please remember to like, subscribe and leave a comment down below. The platform's clear. The signals that proceed. You, you may, may depart. depart.